Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm really glad you made it. Look, wanted to bring up a, a bill that's been kind of going through the process. There's been some new life given to it uh, here with a new release, a new press release from the uh, U.S. Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs. And I wanted to share that with you um, and, and go through it, give you my two cents along the way. So it's the Governing Accredited Representatives Defrauding VA Benefits Act. So it is the Guard VA Benefits Act. And obviously, like anything, if you support it, you should reach out to your congressional members uh, uh, that you're the constituency of and reach out to them and let them know that you support this. Now, I'll give you the, the headline here and, uh, and we'll jump into it. So Tester, Boozman, Blumenthal, Graham, colleagues call on VA to protect veterans filing benefits claims. That's important. I think that's important to all of us. So uh, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. It really helps to get the word out. Each one of us doing our part is is what helps this uh, grow and, and, and let others know uh, what's going on out there. And, and like anything that we read, there's little nuggets that may, may pop up along the way. So uh, I appreciate it. If you're not a member, consider joining. It does help the channel. It helps me to find you in the comments. All right. So uh, moving on. Lawmakers press VA to enforce existing protections for veterans filing initial claims for benefits and ask for additional protections they need from Congress. So this just came out a few days ago and uh, again, kind of breathing new life into this bill uh, and wanted to uh, share it with you. So Senate Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman John Tester and Senator John Boozman, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal and U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham, U.S. Representatives Chris Pappas, and U.S. Representative Brian Fitzpatrick uh, are the original sponsors of the govern Governing Unaccredited Representatives Defrauding Guard VA Benefits Act. Uh, they're calling on the Department of Veterans Affairs to enforce all existing protections for veterans filing initial claims for disability benefits and request additional tools they need to hold bad actors accountable for scamming veterans and basically what they're targeting here is like price gouging uh, sort of services right so entities out there that take advantage of veterans uh, filing claims maybe you know veterans that aren't sure how the process works uh, maybe in some cases the veterans don't even know that there's uh, an accredited rep down the street from them that would help them for free and in some cases they'll get charged you know just whatever it is, you know, six, seven months uh, worth of, of increase. So if you went from a, we'll just use the, like a worst case example, right? So if you went from like, I never file a claim to, hey, I need your services, you know, my first claim, or maybe you did file a claim. My first claim I filed and they denied me and said I wasn't service connected. Now I'm mad, I'm gonna come to you and then they file it and they realize that you didn't have your nexus or maybe you didn't think you needed to put a, um, diagnosis in there so they helped you with that and they pushed it through and now all of a sudden you're 100% uh, you may have to pay that place your $3,000 or $4,000 a month depending on your dependent status um, pay them that for the first six months right so that's a that's a lot of money so it really um, is trying to put some left and right guardrails I think up on that should there be a cost? Of course, right? If people are working for you, um, they they need to get paid, right? If it's not a government employee helping you, then the uh, other entity would have to pay their bills. So I, I believe that they should get paid. I believe that you have other kind of, that you might be able to do it yourself. You might be able to educate yourself and do it yourself. You might be able to utilize an accredited uh, representative or veteran service officer, something like that near you. Utilize one of the VFW, DAV, American Legion, one of those folks, potentially. Um, you know, not everybody's the same. Some, some people are better than others, right? So I'm not saying that everybody's cut from the same cloth, but you might be able to find a free resource. Anyway, moving on. So, uh from scamming veterans that's where we left off and with the pact act providing the largest expansion of veterans benefits in decades veterans are increasingly becoming the targets of predatory quasi-legal claims consultants the lawmakers wrote in a letter to to va secretary to the va secretary the department must ex exercise 
every enforcement tool at its disposal and request those it needs to better protect veterans from bad actors looking to take advantage of them. And so the, the arm of the VA's authority only reaches so far, right? If you're an accredited representative working for a state or working for a county, not a VA employee, but um, you know, you're know you accredited through the VA and you hold maybe a PIV card, something like that, uh, to access their system, um, and you can call on behalf and you can be uh, appointed by the veteran to represent them, or you're a claims agent, um, or maybe an accredited attorney, well, that's the VA's wheelhouse of authority. Once you get out of that, uh, an entity that's helping a veteran with their claim and maybe they're not even filing the claim, right? Maybe they're just coaching you, right? So the VA's power is diminished immensely. There's not much that they can do, um, uh, you know, in, in that type of a situation. So uh, that's why the VA, that's why the uh, uh, Congress is asking the VA what, what other tools would you need, right, to, to hold these people accountable? Um, anyway, moving on. So current law prohibits individuals and businesses from assisting a veteran in the preparation, presentation, or prosecution of a VA claim unless they are accredited through VA. So coaching, right, giving ideas, giving examples, assisting you know in that sort of a way um, kind of skirts around it a little bit additionally under current law fees for assistance may only be charged after VA makes a decision on an initial claim and all fees can only be calculated based on a veterans retroactive benefits however VA and other federal agencies are limited in their ability to enforce the law because criminal penalties were eliminated from the statute nearly 20 years ago. For the past few years, VA has asked, has asked for reinstatement of criminal penalties, and the Lawmakers Guard VA Benefits Act would reinstate those criminal penalties for unaccredited claims representatives, charging veterans unauthorized fees while helping file their VA claims. The lawmakers continued, our mission is to protect veterans and ensure they are not paying unqualified individuals to receive their benefits. As co-sponsors of the Guard VA Benefits Act to reinstate criminal penalties, we believe VA must enforce the law and protect veterans from unaccredited individuals looking at veterans as a payday. Veterans shouldn't have to turn to outside consultants to work through the initial claims process. Continuing their efforts to protect veterans' benefits, the lawmakers pressed VA to look into what the department can do besides reinstate criminal penalties to help protect veterans and their earned benefits and asked VA to inform Congress of its efforts to ensure veterans are not overwhelmed with filing an initial claim in the first place. They also asked VA to clarify its position on what protections are given to veterans who are choosing to pay for assistance from consultants when filing for benefits, especially on contracts where a veteran agrees to pay a product of the increase in future benefits. So that's what I was talking about. Specifically, they asked VA to clarify uh, what fee structures it considers a violation of a veteran's assignment of benefits. The lawmakers concluded their letter by urging VA to move swiftly to answer their questions and protect veterans filing benefits claims, writing, maintaining the current status quo is not an option for our veterans who risked their lives to defend our country. We cannot allow unaccredited individuals to target veterans, offering them access to VA benefits for a price. We appreciate your attention to this request and look forward to working with VA on solutions to help protect veterans and keep their hard-earned benefits where, uh, where they belong. The letter was also signed by additional sponsors of the Guard VA Benefits Act, including House, uh, and it's just got a whole list of people. So 
I'll put that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if you support this, ah, if you watch these, you know that I was going to say something else, but I switched it up. So remember that if you support this type of legislation, reach out to your congressional members. Let them know that you support it. All right. With that, remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.